Okay, now it is. All right. Trying again with uh, 24 of these uh, nine volt batteries, and for a reading of 209 volts, point seven, point six. All right. Here we go. And I added this big ass coil on top. Let's see what we ready, set. Holy Toledo. But again, it's slowing down. But I think we have enough momentum now to keep it spinning. <laughs> Seems to be helping. 210 volts on this. I like it. Come on, keep going, keep going. Okay, it's staying now. I think the magnetic force is interfering with the camera. The screen keeps flickering. And there's a weird line going down it. Backing up just a little bit. Uh oh. Come on. You're yeah, dropping the voltage now too fast. Later, in the next video, I'm going to try the uh, two sets of 12. Well, this is the first test with uh, all 24 9 volt batteries. I believe it's actually encountering the uh, back current from the uh, inductance. Slow it down. Because it keeps picking back up. And once I slow down, then it loses that inductance. And then just try to pick back up and create the inductance to slow it down. I gotta find like I think I gotta find a middle point. I'm not sure how to figure out how much uh, inductance this uh, coil has. Wow. Yeah. Is there a spark or is that something else? No, that's a spark. Where are we getting sparks from? We get a spark from someplace and it's discharging. I have no idea where that spark I'm hoping I'm not ruining my coil. Or batteries. Sounds like it's coming from the batteries. I think I hear it back here someplace. Shut the light off, see if you can see it. You like an echo effect in here. Yeah, it doesn't help the dryers running. Okay.